Yo, what is up everyone? This is Mike back again with another video. Today, together with the help of Anders and Killer, we're gonna be building a brand new PC for gaming and live streaming. So let's go ahead and get started. Now this was originally going to be a PC build upgrade video for my extremely outdated PC that was in desperate need of a major upgrade. But we ended up deciding to just do a brand new build completely from scratch so we actually won't be using any of the components from my old PC. So let's go ahead and check out the components and parts that we will be using. For the case we have the Commander C34TG ARGB edition from Thermaltake. This is a mid-tower case with a tempered glass side panel and two pre-installed 20 centimeter ARGB fans in the front panel. The case itself doesn't have any ARGB, which is actually something that I like about this case since I'm not really a huge fan of RGB lighting. The front panel has mesh covering, which helps to improve air ventilation in and out of the case and what looks to be an H design, which kind of resembles the Honda logo. Anyways, moving on, this case fans are addressable RGB compatible, which means we can control its lighting effects using the ARGB motherboard or via a convenient RGB button on the IO panel. Additionally, there are a total of five drive bays for you to install your SSDs, three of which are compatible with 3.5 inch HDDs. For cooling, we have the Flow DX RGB240 liquid cooler and the Ring Trio 12 RGB fans from Thermaltake. The Flow DX is a 240 millimeter liquid cooler that comes with RGB lighting on the fans and also the water block. Using the TT RGB Plus software, we can access 16.8 million colors and customize the lighting to just the way we like it. The Ring Trio fans are 12 cm RGB fans with an LED ring design. With the Ring Trio fans, we can also use the TT RGB Plus software to access 16.8 million colors and adjust the lighting effects. They're essentially all part of the TT RGB Plus ecosystem, which allows us to actually sync the lighting effects across all the different products. Something that I thought was pretty interesting about the Flow DX and the Rain Trio is that their lighting effects and fan speeds can be voice controlled using Amazon Alexa. Next, we have our storage devices. For our primary drive, we have the 1TB Firecuda 510 SSD from Seagate. I have actually done a review of this SSD before, so if you haven't already seen it, make sure to check it out in the description below. Anyways, the Firecuda is an M.2 NVMe SSD that was actually designed for gaming. It has extremely fast storage speeds with sequential read and write speeds of up to 3,450 and 3,200 megabytes per second, which helps to lower latency and give us the fastest gaming experience possible. We can also use the C-Tools SSD software to monitor drive health and drive performance. For our SATA SSD, we'll be using the 1TB Vulcan SSD from Team Group. This SSD has a very lightweight and thin design and we'll most likely be using it for all other programs other than games. Now don't get me wrong, this SSD is fully capable of being our primary gaming SSD. For a SATA SSD, the Vulcan actually has very impressive read and write speeds at 560 and 510 megabytes per second. Also, the Vulcan SSD comes with something called 3D NAND technology for maximizing storage capacity, smart technology for monitoring drive status, and TRIM or trim for optimizing performance for long-term operation. And for our hard drive, we'll be using the 2TB Barracuda from Seagate. This is a 3.5 inch internal hard drive in a small and compact form factor that is basically known for its trusted reliability, which is perfect for storing all my miscellaneous files on like documents, photos, and videos. Next, for our RAM, we have the Spectrix D60G DDR4 RGB memory from XPG. This RAM has a diamond cut LED design with over 60% of the memory module covered with RGB lighting, which can be conveniently controlled using the XPG RGB Sync software or your motherboard's RGB software. The D60G has a frequency range of 3000 to 4133 MHz. The one I got is rated for DDR4-3600. For the power supply, we'll be using the Tough Power PF1 ARGB PSU from Thermaltake. 
This power supply is rated for 850 watts and is 80 plus platinum certified for up to 92% energy efficiency. The Tough Power also comes with addressable RGB compatibility and was designed to sync with ARGB motherboard software. On the back of the PSU, you can find LED control buttons to adjust the lighting modes and colors, as well as a Smart Zero fan switch to turn the fan of the PSU on and off. For the motherboard, we have the ASUS ROG Strix X470F Gaming Motherboard. This is an ATX motherboard with ASUS Aura Sync, so of course it is addressable RGB compatible. It also comes with DDR4 3600MHz support for your RAM as well as USB 3.1 Gen 2, which provides faster transfer speeds for your USB devices. For the chipset, it has an AM4 socket for AMD Ryzen processors, which for me was the most important thing. And that brings us to our CPU, which will be the AMD Ryzen 5 3600. The CPU is without a doubt one of the best out there when it comes to price to performance ratio. And a big part of the reason why I wanted to get the X470F motherboard in the first place was so I could use the CPU. Regardless, this is a pretty high performance CPU with six CPU cores, 12 threads, and a base clock speed of 3.6 gigahertz. For the graphics card, we'll be using the ASUS ROG Strix GeForce RTX 2070S 08GB gaming graphics card. It of course comes with ASUS Aura RGB lighting on both the shroud and the backplates. The good thing about this graphics card is that it comes with RTX, which delivers a much more environmentally immersive and detailed gaming experience. And with that, we have reached the completion of our PC build, which looks absolutely amazing. And I simply cannot wait to start gaming on this beast of a PC as soon as possible. And that is all for today's video, guys. If you want to check out any of these components or pick something up for yourself, you can find the links in the description below. And we love to know what you think about this PC build. So let us know in the comments. Or if you have any questions, feel free to ask away. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and smash that notifications bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. If you want to support the channel, you can check out our Patreon page in the description below where you can get access to exclusive content. This is Mike. I'll see you next time.